Chamber of Trade and Manufacturing Policy, Peter Navarro. This is a this is a beautiful thing. I think you just yeah, I think you folks just want to know if you can see my MAGA tattoo I got there. <laughs> Yes, indeed, this morning I did walk out of a federal prison in Miami. Joe Biden and his Department of Injustice put me there. Tonight I'm here with you in this beautiful city of Milwaukee. I've got a very simple message for you. If they can come for me, and if they can come for Donald Trump, be careful, they will come for you. If we don't control our government, their government will control us. If we don't control all three branches of our government, legislative, executive, and judicial, their government will put some of us, like me and Steve Bannon, in prison and control the rest of us. Here's how it went. Here's how I got in prison. The legislative branch came for me first. Your favorite Democrat, Nancy Pelosi, <laughs> created your favorite committee, the sham January 6th committee, which demanded that I violate executive privilege. What did I do? I refused. The J6 committee demanded that I betray Donald John Trump to save my own skin. I refused. Here's the thing about the Constitution. They demanded that I break the law because they have no respect for it. I refused. And a Democrat majority in the House then voted to hold me in contempt. All right, what happened next? The next jackboot to drop was the executive branch. Another one of your favorite Democrats, Democrat Attorney General Merrick Garland. There's a winner. Him and Jack Smith indicted and prosecuted me for criminal contempt of Congress. Now, here's what's weird about it. It's something that Democrat prosecutors refused to do against one of their own, including two guys with blood on their hands, Eric Holder, and Alejandro Mayorkas, the great border czar, right? They've actually gotten people killed. For decades, for decades, the Department of Injustice right now, the Department of Justice policy stated, hear me out on this, if Congress slaps a subpoena on a senior White House advisor like me, the advisor's duty is to politely tell them 
to go pound sand. That's exactly what I did. So, so far we got two branches, legislative and executive. The judicial branch delivered the final blow. Just as, uh, here's another favorite of yours, just as Democrat Judge Juan Marchan, you know this guy? did to Donald John Trump in his Manhattan kangaroo court. Another Democrat judge, a guy named Ahmed Mehta, keep your eye on this guy, Ahmed Mehta, Obama appointee. They stripped me of every possible defense, and then what? Just like in Manhattan with Donald Trump, they threw me to the wolves of an anti-Trump jury in where the D.C. swamp, they convicted me, they jailed me. Guess what? They did not break me. And they will never break Donald Trump. They will never break Donald Trump. All right, now here's the most important thing I'm going to tell you. You may be thinking this couldn't happen to you. Mm -mm, make no mistake, they're already coming for you. Joe and Kamala, they threw out the woke blue carpet across the Rio Grande, opened our borders to what? Murderers and rapists. When Donald Trump said it, thank you for saying that, when Donald Trump said murderers and rapists in 2016, they go, oh, racist, whatever. We read the papers. It's murderers and rapists. Murderers and rapists, drug cartels, human traffickers, terrorists, Chinese spies, and, and a whole army of illiterate eagle, illegal aliens stealing the jobs of black, brown, and blue-collar Americans. They put them right on your foot front doorstep. Now, here's another thing, Joe Biden, you got to love this, the green new scam. We're in the heart here in Milwaukee, around all this. This is where the auto industry, that new scam is destroying our industry, leaving us at the mercy of the battery factories in Shanghai and slave labor in the Congo. Biden inflation, you're going to hear a lot of this because it's so friggin' true. Biden inflation is coming after what's left of your savings and eating your wages. And the Democrats, here's the thing. I'm sitting in prison thinking about this. It just eats at me. As the Democrats come for your kids, they're indoctrinating them with poisonous attitudes on race and gender. And here's the thing. When politics fails, the investigations and prosecutions begin. They did it to me. They're going to do it to Trump. But hear me out, they've also done it to Catholics, pro-life activists, and parents, parents who are just standing up for the kids at school board meetings. This is a tale of two Americas, and you know it wasn't this way when Donald Trump was president. Now, I remember the days I was there. In Trump's America, you were safe and our borders were secure. In Trump's America, you were more prosperous, and you didn't have to choose between what? Food on the table, medicine in the cabinet, and a roof over your head. And in Trump's America, you didn't have to worry about being locked up for disagreeing with the government. I went to prison so you won't have to. I am your wake-up call. All right, this is where I'm going to have fun now because I'm going to leave you now with the last three words, the last three words, my beautiful fiance said when I left that morning for prison. They weren't, I love you. That was a given. She simply said, we got this. We got this.
That's what... Bring my girl out now. That's what these lawfare jackals don't understand. When they put people like me in prison and fire figurative and now literal bullets at Donald Trump, they also assault our families. On election day, America will hold these lawfare jackals accountable. Now, here's the sweetest thing that's going to come off my lips. Vote Trump Vance. 24 for Trump 47. I'm Peter Navarro. I went to prison so you won't have to. This is my beautiful girl. She did the time with me. That's what these friggin' Democrats don't understand. They do this to our families. She's my girl. Yeah. I love you. Let's win. Do not let up. Do not let up. Pedal to the metal till November.